Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to open two boxes. We are going to open the competition adjustable kettlebell from SoCal Kettlebells, and we are going to open a retrospect mace off Amazon. Today's opening instrument will be our Black Scout Survival Pocket Knife, runs about $60. The SoCal Competition Adjustable Kettlebell is probably exactly like the Kettlebell Kings Competition Adjustable Kettlebell. It's probably like the Bells of Steel Competition Adjustable Kettlebell. It runs $264.99 at the time of the making of this video, and it replaces 19 weights. As far as I can tell, there is no better deal in all of kettlebelling than these products right here. Multiple companies are selling the same product. More competition in the marketplace means more availability of this item. And this item is probably the most useful thing you can get. Just like the Kettlebell Kings and the Bells of Steel, we have our two tools for changing the weights. These are not fast change systems, but for the most part, they don't need to be. You're gonna have a nut wrench and a hex key. The hex key opens the bell. The wrench loosens the nut so you can change the weights. 35 millimeter handles, the things that we are always checking every time we pick up a kettlebell is the seam on the inside of the bell. We're making sure that these corners are smooth. If they are not smooth, then they are gonna eat up your hands on long sets. Kettlebells are intermediate weights designed to be lifted for intermediate to long periods of time. So if the handles are good, you will be able to use kettlebells as they are intended to be used. The other thing that we are always checking is the distance between the handle and the bell. If that distance is off, it will rest on your wrist in the wrong way and very much hurt. These bells have good geometry, so any normal sized individual will be able to use these bells effectively. Using the hex key, open up the bottom of the kettlebell, Looks exactly like the other adjustable bells. Although this one seems to have really nice finish on it. And your wrench is there to allow you to loosen up the system. Oh, this is different. This nut size is different than it is on other bells. Not sure why that is, but it is much thinner than it is on other bells. The other manufacturers have a nut that's about twice as thick. Inside we have adjustable weights in several increments, 2K, 3K, and 4K, and they're tapered to fit on the inside of the bell. By having all these different weights inside, you can adjust the kettlebell from 12K to 32K. It goes 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. No 31, 32. So there's no 13 and there's no 31 without adding a separate plate, a 1K plate. But you can get a 1K plate on Amazon and fix that problem for very little money. This little nut that's different from the Kettlebell Kings and the Bells of Steel is a little bit different. It's just not as much purchase on your hand, but I don't think that that's actually a problem. You can tighten up the weights and reassemble. And let's swing the bell once or twice here just to make sure everything is as it should be. Handle is good. And on the catch, the kettlebell is sitting in the correct position on your arm. When held in the correct grip, the kettlebell sits exactly the way it should. The geometry of a kettlebell is important. Competition bells are all the same outside shape, so they all lay on your arm the same way regardless of weight, which is different from hard style bells, which are solid cast bells, which have different sizes for different weights. Those bells can rest on your arm differently, so some weight can be unusable for some people. Competition bells always hit the same way, so it's always predictable. Adjustable competition bells save you a ton of money. One bell, 19 weights, so it takes up the minimum amount of space and you spend the minimum amount of money on shipping. This next box, is I believe it's a retro, we'll find out once we open it here, uh, 10 pound mace from Amazon. They are very inexpensive, $35. And they ship on Prime, so you're not even paying for shipping. Maces are probably currently the absolute cheapest way to train for the longest period of time. Maces, completely made out of metal, nearly indestructible, and an infinite number of stuff you can do with it. This one is interesting. It appears to have a thinner diameter handle than what I am used to, 
and it feels a little bit shorter. But the knurling on the handle is really sharp and good. Once again, no knurling up here where there should be knurling. Retrospect Mace. It has a smaller handle diameter that feels like maybe one inch instead of 1.5 or 1.7 like other maces. So this one would actually be good for people with smaller hands. A lot of ladies might like this one. But it moves good. But that is interesting that that handle is a much smaller diameter than other steel maces on the market. Economically, a competition adjustable kettlebell and steel maces are some of the best money you can spend. Steel maces are now very inexpensive. This one was $35 on Prime. It showed up within two days. And if you have a 10, a 15, a 20, and a 25 pound mace, you have enough equipment to keep you entertained for years at a time with training competition adjustable kettlebell. Thus far, I have not been able to hurt one. I have two in the back of a truck which travel around the country. I have two on the East Coast and I'm gonna have another set here on the West Coast because it is cheaper to get them and keep them on one side of the country than usually it is to fly them back and forth. Now with the cost of gas going up, something like a competition adjustable kettlebell will solve a lot of problems economically for people. Where I live in the Midwest, the nearest gym is 30 miles away. I drive a truck, so you would need two and a half gallons of gas to get to the gym and back every day, and gas is now $6 a gallon. Therefore, within a month of just driving back and forth to the gym, you could buy both of these items for the amount of money that you would spend in gas, and these items will last for years. With these two items, you'd be able to train your basics of deadlift and swing patterns, your clean, your press patterns, your squat patterns, your snatch patterns, all of your throwing patterns, your hand release, and your footstep patterns, so you could cover all of the basics of human movement with equipment that does not go bad and does not cost a lot of money. Buy once, cry once, and have durable equipment instead of spending money on fuel.